G'day, Andrew Murray from the Apartment Specialists here talking about earthquake ratings. Are they going to change? That is that 34% benchmark. Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? And the short answer is no. And then you're probably thinking, well, how do you know? You just sell apartments. Well, yes, I live and breathe selling apartments, but you're right. I can't say this is from, from myself. This is from me speaking to structural engineers and for people in, the, in this industry, in the building industry, and asking their opinions. So this is the opinions they've given me, and I'm obviously passing that on to you, because I do a lot of research to, to help me understand uh, the, the market, as well as obviously give the right advice to owners. So basically, uh, what they sort of made, made me aware of is that every 1% that earthquake rating changes, it costs the country about $700 million. So that's a lot. So it being at 33% now, being, th being that 34% or higher as a pass, to raise that every percent is going to cost a huge amount of money. Now, another question I get asked is, is the earthquake rating going to go down, i.e. that 33% that mark, which is that meaning the fail, could that go down 20%? Now, from you know the research I've done, is that is extremely unlikely because this earthquake rating to help you understand when you when it says 33 percent that means it's 33 percent that's the strength in regard to a new building so it means it's one third as strong as a new building that's built today in an earthquake now what it also means is that because earthquakes work differently an earthquake okay a building in an earthquake, like and it's saying the average earthquake, that is at 33% compared to a brand new building, will have 10 times the damage. So for the council or, or the governing body to lower that is putting people at risk, especially with apartments when they live in them. So for them to take that mark and bring it down, I highly, highly doubt it. Because that would go against why they've actually put in these limitations in the first place. And a bad earthquake rating or a failed earthquake rating affects values and is not good for, for, for many reasons. And a lot of banks won't even finance uh, an apartment in a building with, with a low rating. So that's in a nutshell. I can't see it changing. It's at 33% mark, 34 is a pass, and obviously the higher the better. You know, thank you, Andrew Murray, Apartment Specialist. Cheers.